Hi, I'm Devin Cannibal. I'm superintendent here in Georgetown ISD. It's impossible to talk about the student learning experience without talking about the amazing work that our staff does to support behavior and the emotional needs of every single child in Georgetown ISD. Let's take a look at some of the work happening across the school district. So we have all different levels and types of behavior supports that we use at McCoy and I know that we use across the district. When you walk into a classroom, the first thing that we do is good things and that is where a teacher is able to ask all of their scholars, what is something great that happened? Maybe over the weekend, maybe last night and it gives them the time to just talk about something that's important to them and that is special. In every classroom we have something that is the social contract. So the social contract is an agreement that a class has within itself. Um, they build a social contract as a class family where they answer different questions such as, how do I want to be treated by you? How do you want to be treated by me? They are committing themselves to following all of those promises to each other. My name is Esme Bruzewitz and I teach kindergarten at Cooper Elementary. So our morning meetings always start with good things and from there we start our morning session with talking about our social contract and the students now are able to articulate and explain the words from the social contract. We talk about if you are having or struggling with following directions or regulating your emotions, what you can do in our classroom, like using the calming corner. Most students are able to talk out all their problems and they really don't need to come to me anymore because they can self-manage themselves. Everything we do is centered on our learner profile, which serves as our North Star. And one of those key components is that students are able to build and model respectful relationships. So I'm here with these two stars from McCoy Elementary School to talk about what does a learner profile mean to you in your experience here? Um, well, like Ms. McCoy, she comes in our classrooms and she teaches us Hi, my name is Monica Myers. I'm a special education coordinator here in Georgetown ISD. We employ a proactive approach to behavior. We address it through our multi-tiered system, and within that system, we use a tray of supports. These proactive strategies allow for the best interactions between all stakeholders. We also uh, use here in Georgetown ISD the zones of regulation and or the mood meter to help students identify how they're feeling and um, strategies that can help them continue to be successful throughout the day. Hi, I'm Darby Derrick. I'm the K-5 ILC teacher here at McCoy Elementary. Here on campus, we have sensory rooms where students can go to obtain sensory input or output. They can find light sensory, touch sensory, sound sensory, in various ways. My name is Leah Miller and I am a criminal justice teacher here at Eastview High School. One thing that's extremely important to me in my classroom is I want my students to feel safe. I want when they walk into the classroom they know that they are going to have fun, they're going to learn, and they're going to walk out um, hopefully a better person. I know it sounds extreme but I really genuinely desire that of my kids to walk out feeling um, feeling like they're valued as well. Part of doing that is greeting them at the door, letting them know I'm so glad they're here, but then also for them to come in and feel that they're wanted there. I think a kid feeling wanted is so important because then they want to engage in, in what's happening in the classroom. When we are trying to skill build with our students, if we're leaving it up to them, if we're just saying, don't do that, we're leaving it up wide open. Our focus is really saying the skill we actually want to see, what is the desired result, what, do, what kind of behaviors do we want to see, so that they don't even have to come up with it on their own, we're still building that skill. So from social contracts to sensory rooms to everyday classroom management practices, the staff in Georgetown ISD is doing amazing work to provide students with the best learning experiences possible. We are dedicated to making sure every student grows into their highest potential.